Dr. Steve Buchanan, the developer of the GT Series X instruments, demonstrates their use in this clinical case. This is an x-ray of the tooth that I will use to demonstrate the GT Series X files. The root structure could be challenging because of its length and relatively narrow roots. Fortunately, GTX files have limited maximum flute diameters, so we will be able to accomplish our apical shaping objectives without worry of over-enlargement. The canals are challenging because of their apical curvature, but the safe tip geometry of these instruments and the landed blades will provide the apical shape we need without fear of transportation. Access is initiated from the central fossa of the tooth towards the mesial. An ideally cut access allows us to fill the cavity with ProLube lubricating solution and still easily drop our negotiating files into each canal orifice. This placement of ProLube in the access cavity results in efficient prevention of apical pulp blockage during negotiation procedures. The initial instrument placed into the apical third of small canals is the number 08 Lexcon file. Initial files larger than this can push pulp tissue into the canal terminus, causing a sometimes irreversible blockage. Negotiating instruments are used with a watch winding motion. Here we see that followed by several pull strokes to loosen it, then it is watch wound again. As soon as the first negotiating file nears estimated length, the apex locator is brought into play to give feedback as to the position of that file relative to the canal terminus. After using in this the highly curved canal, in order, a number we've been able 06K to move a number 15K file was needed to reach file length. near to length. If the number 15K file resists placement to length, lightly using a number 20K file with a balanced force technique will create enough shape for the number 15 to easily fit to length. This is the pre-shaping requirement prior to rotary shaping with GTX files. Note the pulp tissue removed with one of the negotiating files. Sodium hypochlorite is used as an irrigant during shaping. I use ProRins 30 gauge needles because of their safe end and side vent. After all the canals are negotiated to a size 15K file, the lubricant is replaced with sodium hypochlorite and we are ready to cut shapes in the canals. The first GTX file used in all canal forms is the 2006, simplifying early decision making. Like the landed blade GT files, these instruments are used with a light steady pressure. The difference being that GTX files have a bigger chip space between flutes, allowing a longer cutting cycle before cleaning. Instead of 4 to 6 seconds, these files cut for 10 to 12 seconds before stalling. When apical progress slows, do not add apical pressure. Simply remove the file, clean it, examine it, and use it again. The second use of the 2006 GTX file has achieved length in this canal. An examination of the file tip shows a paucity of debris in the tip flutes, so we know that a larger apical shape is needed. The 3006 GTX file is used next, and with a light even pressure it cuts to length. Close-up examination of the file tip reveals debris packing the tip flutes, therefore indicating, with this visual gauging routine, that the apical shape is sufficient, finishing the preparation of the mesolingual canal. All of the canals are again irrigated with sodium hypochlorite prior to beginning shape in the mesial buccal canal with the 2006 GTX file. Two cutting cycles are accomplished with the same appearance of the tip flutes in the 2006, indicating the need for a 30 series GTX file to finish this shape. The canals are all irrigated again with sodium hypochlorite in preparation for the distal canal shape. The 2006 is again used to cut initial shape as this is a medium-sized canal, the apical progress with this file is rapid and the file tip shows no debris in its tip flutes, a common outcome in these canals. Because this is a medium-sized canal, at least an 08 taper is needed for final shape. So the next GTX file size is the 3008. This file quickly cuts the length and again we see no debris in its tip flutes indicating the need for a 40 series file. While a 4008 shape is certainly adequate for a medium-sized canal, I personally prefer a bit more coronal enlargement in these roots. So I will finish with a 4010 standard GT file as it has a 1.25 millimeter maximum flute diameter. The irrigation following final shaping is done with a 
aqueous EDTA solution or MTAD solution from Tulsa to remove the smear layer on the dentinal walls. Following that, it is important to continue to irrigate with sodium hypochlorite for 15 to 30 minutes to continue cleaning the prepared canals. If that is not feasible, the canals can be filled with calcium hydroxide, the access temporized, and the case can be finished in the next appointment.